Welcome to the Lead Pedal Podcast with your host Bruce Outridge, where he talks all things trucking. Now let's get rolling. Hey everybody, how are we doing today? Welcome to another edition of the Lead Pedal Podcast. This is your host Bruce Outridge. It's episode number 1158. That's right, we're just rolling right through as we go through January. And uh, I thought uh, one of the things I'd like to talk about is goal setting. That's right. Goal setting is one of those things, if you don't start doing it, you never know where it's going to take you. <laughs> That's right. Some people uh, believe in it, some people don't. I've always believed in it, and I thought today would be a good, uh, a good since it's January, and it's a new year, that we would uh, get settled in that. So, let's for, before I get into goal setting and maybe some things you should look out for and, and start to do, um, let's talk about uh, bison transport. That's right, bison transport. Uh, this time of year has a right to the side policy, which is one of their signature policies. It allows the drivers to uh, to decide when it's safe or not safe to drive, and they uh, they encourage them to use that not just for weather, but for uh, sickness or family-related issues, anything like that. Where you don't feel fit to drive, they encourage you to stop and just let them know, and then let them know when you get going again. And that is uh, the way it should be. A lot of companies talk about that but not too often do they follow up. So Bison is one of those that truly follow up. Also, they have a safe driver policy, which is pretty exciting because it allows you to um, win, um, get safe driving awards. And uh, this is extra money. Some, some of their top drivers are getting up to 15% uh, when they do this. So you want to certainly make sure you do that, and it can be put right into a group RSP or something like that. So a lot of options for being safe with Bison and being rewarded for it, which is very cool. Check out all their opportunities at bisondriving.com if you want to check that out. All right, let's get into uh, what we're going to do today. We're going to um, talk about SMART goals. Uh, we're going to talk about goals in general, but we're going to talk about SMART goals as well. And if you don't know what a SMART goal is, a SMART goal is um, an acronym for measuring goals so that you know exactly um, uh, you know what, what you're doing, how to measure them, all of those kind of things. Uh, a lot of uh, business people and entrepreneurs use SMART goals all the time, and uh, it's a way of uh, measuring and tracking your success. And uh, uh, so just to let you know what SMART goals stand for, the S is for specific, the M is for measurable, the A is for achievable, the R is for relevant, and the T is for time bound. So that's why there's SMART goals. So this is not just putting something down and going, oh, I hope I achieve it, which is a way I've done in the past too. So it can work. <laughs> uh, but this is a way of um, actually putting things down, uh, creating action points to it, and then moving along. And I wonder how many of you have done that for your career, especially in a trucking career. Most people don't think about that. Um, but as we're talking, and we just talked about it in our uh, last episode, our episode last week on skilled trades, uh, this is becoming more important. It's becoming more important for you to know exactly where you think you might want to go, uh, how you can highlight your skills, because we're getting a, a market that is um, uh, a lot of people from uh, different countries that are coming in, different skill sets, uh, some good, some bad, unfortunately, but uh, uh, we need them in the seat, so it's not going to stop. We have uh, Canada as an immigration company where the uh, country where they're going to uh, they're going to come in and that's and that's fine. Uh, we, we you know my parents were immigrants too, so it's not it's not like I'm, I'm opposed to them at all. But once we get in here, uh, you have to try and make your way and shine above the others, and that could be very hard to do in an industry as large as the trucking industry. Uh, so if you're really serious about this, um, smart goals are a way to do this. So how would you do smart goals for trucking? Um, you know, uh, if you're looking, let's just say you're a brand new driver and you're looking to make a, uh, uh, a smart goal, um, you're specific. Uh, so th you want something that's specific. Okay. So, uh, let's say that you have just gotten your license. You just got on with a carrier and the next goal you see is that you would like to operate a flatbed. All right, so you go on and you're operating a flatbed and you, you go on and you learn and you say to them, you know what, I would like to learn flatbed. Where do I go to to learn all of that and do all of that? And they will uh, tell you what you have to do and you complete that training. And that's a specific goal you have that you want to learn how to do flatbed. Uh, the measurable time is, uh, you know, how long is that going to take? Does it take... Uh, six weeks to learn flatbed? Is it something that your company can show you once a week? 
Is it a matter of, hey, I just got to get out there and learn it in three days because I need to get out there. So knowing a time frame, putting a time frame onto it, I can tell you that uh, using a calendar year is probably one of the easiest ways to do that because you can use the year, you've got time to uh, do other things and, and still achieve your goals and it's a comfortable pace. Uh, if you think of a 25 to 40 year career, uh, one year is not necessarily that big a deal. So you would certainly be um, looking at that. Now, uh, then achievable. Is it achievable? Are you able to do that? You know, if you're working for a company that has no flatbeds, uh, this might be an issue <laughs> because you don't have any um, work. Now, you could you could move to another company if it's really something or uh, maybe there's something else that you want to, you want to do. So a flatbed is just an example. That's not what anybody has to do. But you want to look at that. Is it is it achievable? Do you have the means to do that? Is there training for it? Is there uh, a way for you to achieve that goal and uh, and have it? Uh, so is it relevant? So if it's relevant, um, you know you want it to be relevant to what your what your job is. You want it to be something that can add on to what you're doing. So, you know, you might want to take up painting, and I'm an artist, so I'm okay with you taking up painting, but at the same time, uh, when you take up painting, you may or may not uh, be, um, you know, helping your career. You might. <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Uh, but you may want to pick something uh, like a safety course or something like that, which will really help you um, decide where you're going to be and, uh, and add on to that uh, training in the truck that you already have. Uh, and then time bound, you know, we talked about this year thing or whatever. Um, how will you measure your success? That's the, the measuring part is how will you measure whether you've achieved, achieved it? Will you have a certificate? Will you be running a flatbed? Will you uh, be working for a certain company? That That's the measurable part. The time bound part is like I was talking about the year, right? So how long will it take you to do that? And all of these things come into play. So if you have a smart goal, if you have a, a goal, let's just say you want to run flatbed and uh, there's your specific goal, and then you have a measurable, how will I achieve that? Okay, I'm going to take a course and get a certificate on running, operating a flatbed. Uh, is it achievable? Yes, my company has a training course. Yes, they have, or they allow me time off for my training course. And yes, they have flatbeds. And then is it relevant? Yes, it's relevant to my job. It's going to help me. It's going to add another piece of certification on. It's going to help me with more opportunities. And then is it time bound? Uh, yes, I can get this done in six weeks, eight weeks, a year, whatever it is that you need to do that. So there's your, there is your, uh, your smart goals. And that's how you want to uh, figure out all your goals for trucking. When we come back, I'm going to tell you about how, um, how you can take it to the next level and actually do this for your whole career. But before we do that, I got to tell you about Ontario Truck Driving School. Ontario Truck Driving School is one of the uh, service providers and training providers in the Ontario area. They are awesome. They uh, have locations all throughout Ontario. They've been around since 1978, and they are looking to train you in whatever it is you want to do. You can go to one spot and get bus, truck driver training, heavy equipment training, uh, F, F training, um, coach training, whatever you whatever you need, you can get it under there. So certainly something to look forward to uh, if you're looking for a training provider in the Ontario, Canada area. They have one of the most trusted courses around, and their locations are uh, extremely, extremely easily accessible to you because they've got all throughout the province. So check them out at OTBS.com and let them know that uh, we sent you for sure, and that's going to be a great way for you to, um, to get going in your career. Uh, all right, let's talk about uh, let's talk about another way of getting your career going and one of those ways of getting your career going is to have career goals we just talked a little bit about it in this last little segment here um where we were talking about uh you know is it is it possible to have uh a, a smart goal and we, we just did an example of a smart goal so you can do your own smart goals um but really knowing what it is you want to do and why you want to do it is probably going to be the most important part of getting things done and I can tell you that um, if you are able to and it depends where you are in your career you may not see it one of the things we were really bad with in the trucking industry is uh, just sit, getting people into the seat we want everybody to become truck drivers so when you become a truck driver now what you just stay there for 20 25 years this is the way I used to think and I've often thought it to be quite wrong because you never know 
what you're, you know, where you're going to be or what you're going to do. Um, but if you can put together some kind of comprehensive plan of where you can start and where you might end up, it would surprise you how fast and how close that, that comes. I remember in my career, uh, when I, I just wanted to be out of the city, I, I thought, okay, I'm going to drive for 25 years. For some reason, I thought 25 years was long enough. And so I said, okay, I'm going to drive for 25 years. And I did. And at the age of 43, I got out of the seat. And that's because I came, became a supervisor and got out of the seat. Now, I wasn't planning to do that at 43. In fact, that 25-year goal I had just put on and not really thought about it. Uh, it wasn't a hard goal or a smart goal or anything like that. It was just a, I thought that just seemed long enough to be in the seat. Uh, and now, um, you know, I'm still in that industry. I'm not driving anymore, but I'm still in the industry and still think that, um, you know, the goals that were there, a lot of the stuff podcasts weren't even around back then. So couldn't even add that into the mix <laughs> if I wanted to. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, if you think about your career, there's safety, there's compliance, there's operations, there's training, there's recruiting, there's marketing, there's technology, there's all kinds of spots. Transportation is one of those industries that everything touches transportation, whether it's goods you're getting or whether it's how you're getting them. And uh, that's the cool thing about trans- transportation. You can have a career and never be bored. I know people that move around. Some move around every couple of years. Some move around every five, ten years. Some have gone from truck drivers to insurance. Some have gone from, you know, into recruiting and safety. And uh, they've all started in the seat. And so this, we, the seat is very important because it, uh, it gives you an understanding of the whole program and how it all works. But it's certainly not the end all and be all by any means. So you need to think about, um, you need to think about that and how you can get things uh, rolling in your way. And so maybe thinking of what is it you're good at. This is a great exercise for a Saturday Saturday morning. Just sit there with a cup of coffee and a piece of paper, and just go. You know what? What am I really good at? What would I like to do if if all the balls were in the right you know spot? Would I be able to? Uh, to do this and if the answer is yeah you know start writing them down write a column of what you like to do and what you you're good at and see what cross promotes maybe you are good at safety maybe you are a good person who's very detail oriented Um, that's going to play a big part in the kind of things that you do for um, for for your job in the future and it's a way of taking courses that kind of lead to a certain part so that you can get into that seat and get recognized for the things you can do. So that's certainly uh, one way of uh, learning how to do goals. It's um, uh, it's pretty crazy when you see what's out there. Um, and if you just enjoy what you're doing, probably the biggest thing is to enjoy what you're doing and you will you will get into it. All right, before we go, let's talk about uh, Driver Verified here. You know what? 2024 is going to change the way that we're doing a lot of stuff in our industry. That's right. No more um, <laughs> no more just, you know, hand in a paper resume, falsify a log, whatever it is. Everything's going technology-based, and Driver Verified is there as well. And they want to tell you that you can uh, get set up uh, with a free profile so that everybody can search you and understand where you are. Information is verified. It's a great way to do employment history, and uh, you'll certainly be uh, at the top of the pack. It's free to set up. You only you only pay if you send out a report to somebody, and I'm sure a lot of places are willing to pick up that tab. But that's something that's so uh, you want to make sure you check that out. Go to driververified.com, fill out a free profile. If you're happy to talk to the team, tell them that the Left Panel Podcast sent you, and uh, know that what you're doing is going to be the top top. You're going to show us that professional you are because of the way you're doing it. So that's very, very cool. All right, let me tell you a little bit about my career and how it worked. I'm going to do another episode on tips that work for me. But just to let you know, um, how you operate as a driver is going to play a direct part on how you operate in other areas as well. For me, um, you know, the way I was uh, uh, helping out... um, if you're hearing doves in the background, it's because I'm recording outside today. <laughs> I'm in the Caribbean, so <laughs> you got a little added extra there. Uh, but if uh, uh, if you you know the way that I um, dealt with the shippers and receivers and our regular customers and uh, all of that is a a way that uh, kind of showcased me the way I kept my truck, the way I was to deal with, and it's a it's a really good way of 
helping your career along and people notice that so if you're dealing with especially if you're it's a company that you may possibly i didn't know i was going to go work for this company later on uh so lucky i didn't do anything stupid when I was the other one. but we used to haul for this company and that's how i became the supervisor and i thought i wanted to become the supervisor i was working uh as a supervisor for the fleet i'd gotten into that position thought that was going to be my long-term goal and then didn't like it so uh you know if you think you've got um a uh, position or something in mind that you think would be really uh, good for you and something you might like to do go talk to somebody who's doing that and say find out what it's really like is it you know a lot of people make it look really cool but it's not that cool <laughs> you know what i'm saying so go check that out and see what it's like and see if it's really for you because that's going to make the big difference into how you work and uh and why you work Okay, my friends, thanks very much for listening. Hey, we hope that helps. Hope that helps get you going for 2024. Feel free to let us know your, hey, if you want attainable, just let me know your SMART goals in the, in the thing. I know we've got a, a SMART goal to be better. We've got a SMART goal uh, to be more, um, we just want to be better to people. Uh, 2023 uh, didn't end very well as far as the way people are bickering at each other. So let's make 2024 the way to do this for sure. We're going to start out by doing that, by just being nice to each other and accepting each other and realizing that, yes, we all have a place here. Let's just get it get it done and get it right. We've got to make our industry better. Uh, we've been talking about skilled trades. We're starting on that. Uh, and we're going to keep talking about that until somebody does something about it because uh, that's kind of where we need to go, I think, uh, as an industry to solve a lot of the issues that we're having. So thanks for listening to the Let Pedal Podcast. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. Make sure you follow us on our socials. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, X. Uh, get us on your favorite podcast platform, and we're on YouTube. All right, my friends. Talk to you later. Bye for now. This has been another episode of the Lead Pedal Podcast. For more information or to subscribe to the podcast, visit theleadpedalpodcast.com, and be sure to follow the podcast on Facebook and Twitter.